We are about to break some news here on CBS Sports HQ as one of the top uncommitted edge rushers in this year's class changes that. He will be committed soon. Jack Pyburn choosing between Auburn, Florida, and Miami. Pyburn, a three-star from Jacksonville, six foot three, 265 pounds, also a state champion wrestler. He is a grappler. Look at him. He'll, he'll wrestle you to the ground. Uh, got him coming out of Jacksonville, Florida, and ready to play ball beginning this upcoming fall. Let's take you now to Jacksonville. Jack Pyburn ready to make his choice known, coming to us from his elementary school, where I'm sure that's bringing back some memories. What, what are the emotions that you're going through right now as you get ready to, to make your choice known? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm nervous. This is uh, really, really special. Uh, thank you all for having me. Um, thank you to the school for having me back here, uh, San Jose Episcopal Day School. Um, it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. I'm just blessed to be here. It's, it's a great day for you and your family. Uh, you told 24-7 Sports earlier that these last few days have been really difficult for you. How so? It's just been really hard for me to decide, you know, what's going to be the best fit for me and, you know, where I really want to go. You know, all three schools have amazing qualities about them, and I could seriously see myself being extremely successful and happy at each place. So it's made the decision very, very difficult. What's been the toughest part of it as you've gone through all these schools, narrowing them down to now your final three? I would say it's the relationships that I built with each one of the staffs. You know, I, I truly, it's been very difficult um, to imagine the phone calls of telling them that I'm not going to play for them. Um, and, and that's the biggest thing for me is that all three of these coaching staffs and schools, I legitimately, you know, could see myself and dreamed about playing at. So it's been tough. Well, not going to waste any more time. This is it. You can certainly take your time here, all the time you need, and tell us where you're heading. So first I want to thank, you know, again, San Jose Episcopal Day School for having me here. This is amazing. Uh, I want to thank my mom and my dad for always supporting me and being there for me. <laughs> I want to thank, uh, you know, all my friends and family for being here. Um, I want to thank my trainer, and he's like my brother, David Canfey, who's you know been here for me the whole time and told me since my ninth grade year that I would be special and has believed in me. And with that, for the next three to four years, I'm going to be taking my talents to the University of Florida. All right, already got the uh, the chomp going. Why Florida? What put the Florida Gators over the top for you? You know, I feel like the vision that Coach Napier has for the school and the way that, you know, I've, over my visit, just seeing everything, I really feel like Coach Napier is going to return the Gator standard. Um, and it's been my dream forever to play for this school, and it's going to be more than anything to put on these colors and, and play my heart out every Saturday. And I'm just so excited and thrilled and blessed. That's pretty cool. I mean, there in Jacksonville, growing up a Florida Gator fan, I mean, what would you say to your, I don't know, eight, nine, ten year old self about what's about to happen to you? <laughs> he wouldn't believe it. You know, he was a little fan. You know, he was, <laughs> he'd probably be fanboying right now and just, you know, it's, it's awesome and, you know, it's, it's a dream come true and I'm just ready to get to work, bottom line. What are you most looking forward to about getting to Gainesville? I'm just ready to put on that Gator uniform every day and go to work. You know, I'm going to bring hard work and energy every single day, and I know there's no one that's going to be able to outwork me and that has my motor and my grit and determination and the edge that I'm going to come in with. And I just want everybody to know that they're going to get a Gator great in the future out of me. What's that going to be like when you get to return to your hometown every year to take on rival Georgia? <laughs> that's going to be awesome. You know, there's going to be hundreds of people there that will be able to watch me, and it's, it's going to be special. Well, congratulations once again on becoming a Florida Gator. Jack Pyburn says nobody's going to outwork him, and I, I believe that as a, as a wrestler. I know how hard you guys work, so best of luck in going to Gainesville and playing for Billy Napier, the first-year head coach. Jack committed 
to the Florida Gators, choosing them over Auburn and Miami. All right, let's get Andrew Ivins in here from 24-7 Sports. Uh, Andrew, what does this mean for the Florida Gators? This was uh, their highest-rated edge recruit in this year's class, correct? Yeah, it, it is. It's a big pickup for Florida. Look, I mean, uh, not a lot of guys available right now. Almost 80% of that 2022 class had signed during the early signing period. And Jack is a guy who all of a sudden rose up recruiting boards. You know, he had over 200 tackles, 20 sacks the past two seasons. So uh, Florida made a late, late push. Um, but once they got him on campus, it was kind of a done deal. You know, both of his parents graduated from the University of Florida. He was telling me this morning uh, he remembers going to games when Tim Tebow was there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think this is a guy that is going to fit what Billy Napier wants to do in Gainesville. Remember, you know, they've lost some guys via the transfer portal. They need to get the right type of individuals in there. And, and Jack is someone that eat, breathe, sleeps football and, and lifting weight. So I think it's a good get for Florida here. This not only pushes them into the top 25 nationally, but the top 20 as well. They go from 26th to 19th in the composite. What What is this class shaping up to look like the first for Billy Napier? Uh, you know, it, it's been some solid additions down the stretch. If we go back to early December when, when Billy was first hired, uh, he parted ways with some really highly ranked recruits. And some of us in the scouting and, and recruiting community we're kind of shaking our heads or scratching our heads, wondering what was going on. And then he finished really, really, really well during that early signing period. And then uh, we'll see what happens on, uh, on National Signing Day. But some big fish out there with Jack, you know, he's a guy that I think could have ended up at Miami if Florida didn't get in there. So you're taking a kid away from your in-state rival. And he's he's just a front, uh, front seven defender. That's what I call him. Is he a linebacker? Is he an edge rusher? I mean, I don't really know, but I know he's a guy that's going to play through the whistle and, and make a ton of stops. And I think it wouldn't be surprising to see him play as a freshman, maybe on special teams. And uh, he's going to be, probably be the strengths coach's best friend. Oh, just, yeah. You know, just, look at it, just look how he's built. He, uh, I believe, this morning went and got, got the pump on in the gym before making that announcement. He says that's where he goes and kind of gets his mind right. And you heard him say it right here live after the announcement. Nobody is going to outwork him. Florida is going to love having a guy like that. Andrew Ivins with us here on CBS Sports HQ as the Florida Gators get a three star commit and move into the top 20 thanks to the addition of Jack Pyburn who commits right before signing day. Our coverage all day tomorrow powered by 24 seven sports with the latest news live commitments a bunch of them and updated team rankings. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.